I am your host und sage willkommen, bienvenue, welcome im Cabaret. Tonight we're going to have a real treat. Joel Gray, a legendary Broadway star, an icon. He, of course, he's won the Academy Award for Cabaret, the movie with Liza Minnelli. That he's going to sign his new memoir, uh, Master of Ceremonies. The audience is going to just go absolutely wild. Leave your troubles outside. The role came at a time when I was about to quit being an actor. The telephone rang. I said, Hal? Yeah. He said, uh, what's the matter? I said, well, you know, it's been kind of rough. And he said, well, forget about it. I'm doing a new show, and I think there's a very good part in it for you. And that was Hal Prince. It was the first thing I've ever done that I didn't have to audition for. I told you so. We have no troubles here. Making a movie is doing five minutes at a time. There's no five minutes at a time on Broadway. Once it begins, you just are swept right through it. I loved doing it on the stage, but it was quite an adventure making the film in Germany. We're also going to talk a little bit about your memoirs. So what's in the book? How difficult it is to become a working actor. I had a very complex family life uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, and I just loved the theater. I started when I was nine. It's always meant everything to me. And it, that's, it's really that up and down road. And sometimes you get it and you can still do that up and down road. I know a lot of actors who don't get that lucky. Certainly fascinating that, that it was Bob Fosse that he didn't want him at first. Nobody knew that. I, I don't think anybody in the audience knew that he didn't want him. He didn't want me in the movie. <laughs> Six weeks before they were to shoot in Munich, and Bob Fosse comes in, and the head of ABC Pictures, and the producer, Fuhrer and Martin from Broadway, they were all there, and he said, it's either Joel Gray or me. And the producer said, then it's Joel Gray. So working together was not an easy thing. Who did Bob Fosse want? I think that it was rumored that he was interested in Anthony Newley and also Ruth Gordon. <laughs> she would have been good. With every actor, there's a part that he arrives with. That's the part that people think about first. But one part does not make a career. And you have to keep trying and keep exposing yourself. But that's the excitement of it, too. What is your advice to the up-and-coming actor? It's always been the same. You better have to do it. You better love the possibilities. You better be totally committed because it's a bumpy road for everyone. <laughs> such spirit within him. I love that. I lo it was how I remembered him like I was a glow just watching him. And then he sang for a moment. His voice is just what it was. Is there any chance that you could sing a little bit of Malcolm? Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome in Cabaret. 